In this video, I'll show how to use the Easy Crimp tool to terminate an Ethernet cable with an RJ45 end. This tool here is a stripper tool. It's like a, I call it a Cyclops stripper. So you just put the wire in, do one rotation around, and it cuts the sheathing or the insulation of this cable. And I pull that right off. I'll include the link for all the tools used in this video for the termination of the cable in the description of this video. Uh, the next thing I always do is I separate out the colors. So I do the oranges, then the greens, then the blues, then the browns from left to right. This is for the 568B configuration style. Um, and so I'll untwist the oranges first and kind of straighten them out. I pinch them and pull with my finger and, and try and straighten them out as much as I can. Then I untwist the greens. And the greens, we have the white with a green stripe, but then the solid green needs to go on the other side of these two blues. Um, in the B configuration. And there's diagrams for this. I'll include the, the kind of the, the order that the colors go in in the description of the video too, so check for that. But you see it's a pattern, so it's always a striped, then a solid, then a striped, then a solid. In this configuration, you'll never have two solids next to each other or two striped next to each other. So it's orange with a stripe, and then orange, then green with a stripe, and then blue, then blue with a stripe, and then green, then brown with a stripe, and then brown. And I'll pinch them, wiggle them back and forth, and try and get them really straight and really close together. This is sort of the way that I, that I try to pinch them and get them sort of straightened up. And then because after untwisting, they're going to be different lengths, I always take a pair of uh, like a cutting tool like this, and I'll, I'll just cut the ends off there. So they're all nice and smooth and set together. This is the end I'm putting on. It's, it's this easy crimp connector. So the cable actually passes through the end of the connector and extends out past. And then the crimp tool I'm using um, will cut the wires after I, when, as it's crimping. Again, this is a special tool, which is probably why you're watching this video. So this is specifically how to terminate an end using this specific tool. If you don't have this tool, um, the, the cables won't extend past the end of the connector like they are in here. So I want to make sure I get the jacketing. A lot of people, when they're, when they're first starting out, they won't put the jacketing, like, like the blue or the color end of the cable, inside the connector. You want to make sure you do that. This is the way the, the crimp tool works. It's got a blade here, and it just it's ratcheting, and it clamps down. So you just put it in. This particular one does phone and data. And you'll just squeeze, and it cuts the ends off, and terminates at the same time. And the termination process actually pinches those blades into, the, into each of the individual wires, as well as setting, uh, setting the jacket in there in the end of the connector. So thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.